headquarters? We're down at uh, Democratic uh, Campaign Headquarters in Escambia County. Uh, may I ask your name, please, ma'am? My name is LaRuby May. LaRuby, uh, are you, uh, what are you doing here? I am here working on my brother Lumen May's campaign. I see. Are you excited about the campaign? Absolutely. Do you have a feeling for who you're going to vote for for the top of the ticket? Uh, I do. I've actually already voted. Have you already voted? I've already voted. Did you vote absentee or did you early vote? I vote early vote. Early, early voted? Yep. So you actually, yep. uh huh? Yep. I missed absentee by one day. So, so do you think this is an exciting election? It's, it's exciting. I'll tell you, I was voting and I'm a registered voter in the District of Columbia. And I went to go early vote, and our person in charge of the election, I waited in line for about an hour and 15 minutes. Wow. And what he told us is that last year, at last election cycle, there was a total of 1,200 people in the okay. District of Columbia that early voted. And this year, during the two weeks, they had seen at least 1,200 people a day. 1,200 a day for yeah. two weeks. Yeah. My goodness, that's like 12,000. That's like 10 times as many. Yeah, right. Amazing, amazing. So what do you think has energized people this election cycle? I think a lot of people want to be a part of history. I think because we, it's a historic race, uh, depend, whichever party wins. If Barack wins, he'll be the first African American. And if McCain wins, then Palin will be the first female vice president. So I think either way it goes, someone, people want to be a part of history. Truly historical yeah. by any, any measure. Any, by every definition. So do you expect... Uh, uh, there'll be difficulties tomorrow voting on the, the actual day of elections. This is, we're here talking on November the 3rd. Do you expect problems on November the 4th? Uh, I, I think that as a whole, Florida and many other jurisdictions across the country are not adequately prepared for the number of people that are going to vote. And so I think that that may be a problem. Hopefully we have enough ballots across the state or specifically in Escambia County, we're making sure. But I think that um, there's going to be some glitches, but hopefully we'll be prepared. Do you think that the difficulty in voting will be uh, work to uh, one candidate's favor or the other? Yes, ma'am. I think that it could typically are more disenfranchised voters tend to be Democrats. So I think that if there's difficulties, it'll tend to affect disenfranchised voters more, and that will be more of a detriment to the Democratic Party than it will to the Republican Party. Uh, well, thank you very much for your time today. Was there anything else you'd like to say to the people uh, across America? This is going to be posted on YouTube. Uh, I think this is kind of an exciting time to be in Escambia County. Uh, obviously, I'm biased for my brother, but we keep thinking about this as a historic national election. But in Escambia County, District 3, we have our own historical election because when Lumen wins, he will be the first African American to represent West of Tallahassee since Reconstruction, which I think is significant. Wow. Thank you very much for your time. No problem.